I not only uh, would support the Disclose Act, I have co-sponsored and voted for the Disclose Act. Uh, it is actually a principle that true conservatives fought for for 15 years, which is that one of the answers to the horrific problem of how we finance our campaigns is simply that voters should have the chance to know who's behind these ads. I find it shocking that Senator Hurt would not be for this basic principle of voters having the information. Now, I know that he has gotten a great deal of support from groups that are actively fundraising from China, from Bahrain, from Egypt, from Russia. Ladies and gentlemen. And this is shocking. I would think he would want to be at the forefront of this effort to be able to say that and be able to say, let's open up those books. Conservatives who have gone after different liberals who've contributed to campaigns and seen that as fair game until it's on their side. I think when voters have more information, it's better for democracy and better for the electorate. We have an unprecedented influx of corporate cash into the elections this year. Much of it, to the tune of millions of dollars, has gone to Senator Hurt to fund misinformation about what's going on in the economy. Where I come from, where I grew up around here, if you want to take a position, you put your name on it. You're willing to stand by it. That's a basic standard of decency and of integrity. Why is it that these groups want to be so secretive? Why, if they believe these positions or are okay with taking this money from corporations here or overseas, would they not do it? Senator Hurt and others have been funded by the, some of the biggest outsourcers of American jobs in American history. This is one of the most important things in this campaign. Are we going to give up on the idea that we can build and make and grow things in America again? I feel like they have given up on this. I still believe All we right. can do it.